Hey, hello guys. This is Yasser with another video. In this video, we'll study the reaction of Grignard reagent with carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, oxygen, and sulfur. Here is the first. We'll study reaction of Grignard reagent with CO2. Okay. So let's see the general reaction first. This is our Grignard reagent R M G X which reacts with CO2 and then we have carboxylic acid. Okay. And our byproduct Mg2 plus plus x minus in the solution form let's see the mechanism so now in the mechanism we'll take an example CH3MGX we know that the alkyl group is having a delta negative and magnesium is having a delta positive and this is the structure of CO2, C double bond over double bond. Now this methyl groups attack for this carbon, this bond shifted to the oxygen. And further we are having CH3, C, O, minus, and this is our double bond O. Now MGX gets attached to this, okay, which is having delta positive. Now further with this, we just reacted with water and we'll be having CH3, C double bond O, OH plus Mg, OH, X, which can also be written as Mg2 plus, plus X minus plus OH minus because in water it gets dissociated so from this reaction we come to know that whenever Grignard reagent react with carbon dioxide a carboxylic acid is being formed a carboxylic acid is formed okay so this is our carboxylic acid it is called as acetic acid okay so let's move further we'll study the reaction with sulfur dioxide okay so in this we'll take urignard reagent plus sulfur dioxide we'll be having r so2h plus mgoh x Let's see the mechanism. So we'll take an example of methyl magnesium bromide, which is treated with sulfur dioxide. The structure of sulfur dioxide is like this. Okay, it has a lone pair as well. So this methyl group is having a negative charge, magnesium has a positive charge. So finally this methyl attacks over the sulfur and the electron pair is get shifted to oxygen. So further we are having CH3SO- double bond. So Mg Br gets attached to this since it is positive in nature which is on which is on further hydrolysis it releases the product that is S3C SO2H okay plus Mg Br OH Clear? So this is basically our product. M 
the next reaction we'll study the reaction of Grignard reagent with oxygen and this will get alcohol along with the byproduct magnesium hydroxy halide okay let's see the mechanism of this reaction so we'll take the example of methyl magnesium bromide which is made to react with oxygen as we know that methyl group is having a negative charge and this one is having a positive charge and this methyl attacks over the oxygen and this electron pair is shifted to this oxygen so further we are having H3CO O Ng Br and this oxygen is having a negative charge well as compared to this oxygen this particular oxygen is having a slight positive sorry this oxygen is having a slight this oxygen is having a slight negative charge slight you can say um, the electron of oxygen is being lost to this oxygen and it gets an electron from methyl group so this electron is of methyl group okay so the electron which is being lost from the oxygen is being obtained from the methyl group and after this compound is being formed it gets a slight negative charge due to pulling of these both pair towards itself and we know that oxygen with a negative charge has a very strong has a very strong plasma effect so it just pushes this electron outside and finally we are having H3CO- which further reacts with Grignard reagent it just get attached with the Grignard reagent MgX and this oxygen the one which is remaining with the Grignard reagent gets attacked by an alkyl group so it is CH3 Ng Br ok so this entire group comes over here so I, I just switched out the oxygen so let's have it so it is CS3 O Ng Br so it's a complete group ok now you would be thinking what about the minus charge of oxygen since both the electrons are keep kept by this oxygen group so you got some negative charge and this electron is taken by this so oxygen gets a gets a neut uh, neutral or you can say it becomes neutral and when uh, methyl groups attacks over this oxygen it again gets a negative charge and this magnesium gets a positive charge ok which on further hydrolysis put the species on further hydrolysis so simply what I can say we are having two moles of two moles of this particular intermediate okay one from this part and another one from this one okay both these parts on reaction with water it further forms alcohol plus two mole of this byproduct okay the halogen over here is Br so this entire halogen whatever you have considered this is nothing but Br okay so this is the reaction with oxygen so what we studied in this reaction so whenever a Grignard reagent reacts with oxygen it always forms alcohol clear now if you if you are thinking about the solvent you should take dry too
okay in previous uh, the previous part of video also i messed it out so just keep in mind now let's move towards the fourth one that is reaction with sulfur so this is our grignard reagent which is reacting with sulfur and it forms sh plus our by product so this is basically called as thione okay let's see the mechanism so for in order to explain the mechanism we'll take an example of methyl magnesium bromide which is made to react with sulfur now sulfur is a neutral species okay it does not have any charge but after reaction with this methyl group which is having a negative charge and this one is having a positive charge it forms ch3 s negative which gets attached with mgbr okay where mgbr is having a positive charge okay which on further hydrolysis or you can say reaction with water forms CH3SH plus MgOH Br. So this is our product called as methane thiol. Okay. So, what is the purpose of this reaction? Always take a Grignard reagent, react with sulfur, you will always have an thiol. Okay, so I, have, I hope you have got the video. Okay, please don't forget to share and subscribe the channel. Thanks a lot for watching.